Hi everyone, welcome to Twinchy First Tuesday. Well, you're saying this doesn't look like a Twinchy and you would be correct. Um, I'm going to actually try and make some things. This is a piece of watercolor paper. It was in a um, Prima watercolor pad, but both ends, I see which ones, this end and this end were bound. I'm like, how do you get this thing out of there? Anyway, I tore it, but I, I cut it down to whatever this size is and uh, I'll be cutting it into bits. And if I feel like it, maybe we'll do this one too. So I'm gonna do a little mixed media with my Twinchies. And I thought I'd take you along on the process. If it gets too long, I'll split it into two videos, a process which I'll share later and um, the actual finished projects. So it probably, that's probably what'll happen. So I'm going to use, I think, the Soft Pastels assortment by Stampin' Up. I haven't used them very much since I got them. These are all the colors and uh, let's see what they are. Night of Navy, Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight. Mango Melody is a retiring color. Gorgeous Grape, Mossy Meadow, Coastal Cabana, and Granny Apple Green. So I have sprayed this paper. Uh, I don't know why I just see other people do that. <laughs> I might spray it again a little bit with the, I have this distress spray. I have a couple sprayers but I'm going to be using this one today because it holds more water than Stampin' Up sprayers do and I have a Dollar Tree one but that comes out like really big and then I have uh, I went through my stamps and I have this graphic 45 clean stamp that I've had probably since I barely started doing paper crafts and I might just use some plant stuff or maybe a dragonfly. I think there's a caterpillar and a moth or something on here and um, a little other insect. Yeah, a bee or two. I, I might just do the dragonfly and this. I thought this was pretty cool. But to do that, since this is mixed media, I think I have to use like pigment ink or something. And I don't have very many of those. But I have, in addition to black and saddle brown, I have forest, I've had these for many years, so I hope they're still good. Um, these two, which are open, I don't think I'll use the blazing red, which is open, or maybe I'll use timber brown. And then I have olive green and cactus green, which have never been taken out of the plastic. So, and I've had these for years. I'm thinking I might use these two or maybe the brown. I don't know. So, I'm just going to try and scribble right on the paper and then spray it and see how that works. And if I don't like it, I also brought out a brush and a little cup of water. Um, if you have like sugar-free or any kind of jello or pudding from the store and these little plastic cups, save them. They make nice little water cups. I think I'm going to use like Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, maybe a little Gorgeous Grape, and maybe Daffodil Delight. I don't know. We shall see. I'm thinking I'll use these two at the top. And I'm, I don't know. I think I'm going to sp oops, spread a little. What They say you can also go like this. Or you can chip it off and yeah, that's not that's not gonna get me the color I want. So I'm actually gonna draw on here, I think. At least spread some color down. And just see how this works. I'm gonna add a little purple in with the coastal cabana. Coastal Cabana in with the gorgeous grape. And then I think I want more of that. Like half and half. We'll do like half and half. A little heavy on the Coastal Cabana side. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a little yellow, which is the Daffodil Delight. You know what, I actually might bring in some Mango Melody to make it a little orangier. And 
And then we have some granny apple green. And then, I guess I should be putting these back in. <laughs> I do think I'm going to use a little bit of mossy meadow down here at the bottom. And let's see how this comes out. Um, put these back in. <sighs> I haven't, like I said, I haven't used them very much. So I think I'm going to spray and then I'm going to smooth out with the paintbrush. as well and see how that works. I have said I'd like to get into my mixed media a little bit more. I'm not an expert of any of it. I have no art background other than my mother used to paint. Um, and she used to be a crafty artistic kind of person. But like me, she also worked in um, an office. You had to earn a living, right? You know. But I, I went on to get a degree in accounting. And, and by the way, forgive the messy mat underneath, but I used this Teflon mat over stuff to. Um, I should probably put the green up here near the blue, right? Because that kind of turns green there. I saw somebody, they were using a clean cup and a dirty cup of water. And I thought, that's a good idea. I should have, oops, should have tried that. That's okay. That kind of got a little muddied there. I want those two mixed a little better. I might want more color, but I think I want to dry the like I want more color in here. Um, and I want the edges to not. Okay, where's my paper towel? That's too much up oh. around the edges. All right, so I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to dry this with a heat gun. Okay, I um, dried it most of the way. It's a little bit curled. There's some a little bit wet here. And I took Costa Cabana Granny Apple Green and Night of Navy. I want to add, um, I just scraped it off with my scissors. I want to try and get some richer color in some areas here where the white is showing through still. I really don't want white showing through. I am going to let this dry and then we will come back. I actually, before I do that, I might just take a few spritzes on here. And get some little dots of texture maybe. And I might just kind of blot that up a little bit. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and I will be back. Okay, everyone, so I dried it and I cut it into three strips of one and three quarter inches all the way down the paper. That left me with this much on the side. 
and by cutting one of these strips I got four one and three quarter by one and three quarter inch pieces because I'm going to back these on uh, cardstock or something thicker I guess I couldn't decide so if you were doing two by two you would only get well yeah you probably only get three full one because this you need another quarter inch on all of them and this is all that was left was a little over a quarter inch so I think you'd probably get three and have a little bit bigger scrap of leftover at the bottom or, or maybe smaller scrap so that one I, I didn't get hardly any of the mossy meadow so I'm going to turn this one and start cutting from the bottom and then we'll have some scrap um, up at the top of the blue one and three quarter so we'll have some yellows if I was thinking properly I maybe should have turned I don't know I should have maybe done it so that we got some of each color on each square I don't think that would have been possible that's pretty I like that with the the yellow green blue and purple on it and I just love the blue and purple together like my old bowling ball from one time and so I have an extra strip there and since I love the blue the best we're gonna do another one with the blues I realized as I was cutting this that there was no pink in those pastels and also if you don't have the the soft pastels or whatever they're called um, you could use gelatos or distress crowns or watercolor paints anything like that okay now what my plan is and I don't know if it'll come to be or not but my plan is to now stamp on these I have an extra one have, oh, over here I did something wrong eh, we'll just go like that no like that no one of these probably went over here maybe this one We'll go like that okay I don't know I, I don't know how it was <laughs> doesn't matter now we're going to take out this stamp and pull in some stays on I'm going to start with these lighter a little bit lighter ones and maybe use um, this stays on forest green and see how that works I'm going to test it and I'll be right back okay everyone so these first uh one two three five i used this stamp on a couple this one must have been a little too wet and also when i was cleaning my stamp it got a little stays on spray on it i've already cleaned them with the stays on stamp cleaner because it's the only thing that really works to get your stamps when you use stays on clean and i see i still have a little bit on this block as well um anyway i used this large one but i only used the tip of it and went here here and here and then i had this little one in that <coughs> excuse me in that same set and i went in the center there that's probably going to be covered up later and just off the edges of these two now i'm going to switch let me move those aside and we're going to switch and do um the blue ish and i think i'm gonna use this dragonfly but he might not be all the way on the paper and i'm going to use azure blue which is interesting because that is the name azure afternoon is the name of one of stamp uh, stampin up's new colors coming in let me get him on the block better and see I have um, these these two were open so I might have used them once before I don't know I kind of like this blue he might get 
some full coverage there like he's coming up from earth to the sky love it and same for this one I don't know I might have got a double image on that one oh and on the yellow it kind of looks more green so that's interesting let's try one on the blue actually let's try it on the blue into the purple yeah I, I really like that all right we'll do another blue and a purple forgive my reaching in front I should have a stamp pad down here and I think I want to do something different with the other ones. I don't know what yet, and I'll clean that in a moment. I do want to use the blue. Let's see what else we have. We have a little moth. I wish there was, is this a butterfly or is it a bee? It's a bee. Let's have a caterpillar. Let's use the moth. Why not? Um, because I want some of the, maybe, is that a moth or a butterfly? I think moth doesn't matter we're going to use it on these next three because there's something else I want to do with these as well so I don't want it to take up the whole the whole um, sky or the whole piece <sighs> I don't even know what I'm saying I think the purple should go at the top last one and then I did want to do a little stenciling too. All right, so I'm going to close this up. Now with stays on, you have that plastic thingy and there's a little thing you can put on the side. See, that comes out. I just um, keep it on there. It keeps your pads moist because I've had these for years and they're still fine. So I'm going to clean my pad and then I'm going to go look for some stencils and see if I want to do some stenciling too. So I will be back. Okay, everybody, I have this embossing paste. It was open, um, and I had the foil over it still, but I think it's best if you take, like, a, a piece of um, plastic wrap and crinkle it up and put it down right on top of the product, then put the foil over it, then the lid, or maybe plastic wrap also over the foil. Mine's starting to get a little dry, but it's still blendable. And on these yellow and green ones, I found this retired stencil from Stampin' Up. And I think I'm just going to put a couple dots of this on various places. Um, and I mixed it, I mixed the embossing paste with a little bit of this Vegas Gold uh, Sukunico all-purpose ink. It's, it's a gold um, metallic ink and um, Stampin' Up used to sell it, and they don't anymore, I guess. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. You could have to look for Sunico brand. I'm just going to put a little bit on each one. I don't want a whole lot. And I'm not, I was thinking <clears throat> I maybe put some stars on some of the others. I think I want a little bit up here, too. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what is making me cough today. I don't know whether the workers next door are stirring up dust or just the dust in my house, maybe. <laughs> I wanted a neutral color with the paste. Ugh, now I'm sticking my finger in it. Wow, shoot. Um, because something else is going to go on top of these two. I'm going to put a little more back on that one. All right, I'm going to set them aside. They're going to have to dry. This one, I think I'm just going to put some over here and maybe at an angle. Um, it doesn't take much on these, but and you're definitely going to have to let them dry. For the ones, I said the blue ones, I, br I brought out a different stencil. It's a star. Let's see. Here, I think I just want some in here towards the middle I don't want it up in the sky I don't think this is kind of a messy um, 
Yeah, that's a messy twinchy, but I'm having a blast. <laughs> and that's what counts, right? Have fun with your crafting and and your creativity and just have a play. Because like I said, I'm not trained in any kind of art form. I have a pretty good eye for color usually. But I don't think my creativity is top notch necessarily. Um, all right, one more with this, and then I'll wipe this up, and then we'll try the the stars. I think down here, maybe, maybe. If you um, make sure you have a mat of some kind under here that can wipe clean, I did find. Um, that didn't get real good. That's all right. Um, I did find that stays on cleaner kind of cleaned up my mat pretty good. Now I am going to clean my stencil right away with some water and a paper towel, which I thought I had right out here, but I guess not. Um, and then I'm going to prepare to use the stars and I'm just going to use the white and then I'm going to try and cover it in gold because I want more of a glow for the stars. I'll be back. Okay, I decided I'm not going to texture, uh, put stars on these four. I'm not going to put embossing paste on these four. Um, these three, I do want a star like up here. And this is a Tim Holtz um, Stampers Anonymous. Um, I don't know if it has a name. Let me see. It came in this package. Stars Layering Stencil THS008. Don't know if it's still available. Probably somewhere. I'm just going to put one of these small stars in white embossing paste, which is, I might actually, you know what? Let me spritz it with a little water and see if it'll, uh, um, it's, it's not quite all the way dry, you know, but it's getting a little dry. But it'll still work. There we go. I think that's better. And I just want to, whoops, see the whole clump came up just a little bit. Let's see, where am I down here? Just the one star, I think. And then I'm going to try and make that, paint that gold or something later, I think. I haven't quite decided yet. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. And there we go. Oop. No, I wiped away too much. Oop. And I got a blob on my dragonfly. Let's see. Ugh. Nope. Not happy with that. Put it back down. I guess I could... Um, uh, because it's a little crackly like maybe it's this thing I'm using that's better okay good enough that one goes up there bring in the next victim <laughs> all right I may decide just to color them dark purple kind of sticking with that theme in the sky but you want them to twinkle a little bit right that one get a little better and one more Am I even on camera? I'm just doing it up in this corner up here. So I have out way too much embossing paste, but I'm not going to put it back in my container and possibly contaminate it. A little goes a long way, and I forget to use it, and that's why it goes dry on me. I probably have another jar somewhere, too. All right, let me clean up. I'm going to have to wait until these dry, and then I'm actually thinking... Of, what do I do with that paper towel? Um, of using some flower dyes that I bought recently. There's all different kinds, plus I don't think these bigger ones, maybe. Um, but I'm thinking this one and maybe this one or the one behind it. I'm not sure yet, but I have to get some matching cardstock and things like that and clean this up, so I'll be back.
my next thing is I was going to put flowers on these and I was going to die cut them. Then I changed my mind. I have a lot of paper flowers, so I am going to go look through them and see what appeals to me for placing on these greenish ones. And I think I'm also going to get like a just a generic texture, texture these, and I'm going to go around these with some kind of marker either black, like I said, or, um, um, I'm thinking a metallic gold paint pen or something. So let me do that and I'll come back. Hey everyone, I decided not to texture the backgrounds, but instead when I was digging through my flower bin, I found somebody gave me this washi and it's not the best, well, it might have been, but it tears now. I've had it so long. Um, anyway, it really goes with Coastal Cabana well. So I decided on the Coastal Cabanas to just put a washi on the one side. And then um, I am going to go around all of these with this gold Sharpie paint marker that I have. I've already done it on these. I don't know if you can see it or not like that. Um, and I've already done the washi on some of these. I'm covering them. Now I may have to put like a piece of black uh, cardstock um, in the back and it'll make it thicker yet, but to cover up the washi because I didn't go all the way around. And then I found these flowers that someone had made in my flower bin. I thought, you know, I'm going to use them because even though they cover this up, they kind of went with the colors on the yellow and green. Um, and the flowers in the background on the washi tape bring out. Now that washi is this. Don't ask me where I got any of these because I don't know. So I thought I'd I'm using this on all these dark green ones, which will help make it thicker, but it also adds a little more texture and color to it. Now I ran out of those and I have this one. I'm not for sure I'm going to use this. I might um, opt to go with, um, you know, this color somehow maybe. I think this one, I'm going to put the washi on the background. I already went around the edges with the gold. And then I have some more of these little, here they are, little flowers. And I think I might do a cluster and maybe a word strip or something. Those are purple or something like that. So I think that's what I'm going to actually, I might do it over on this corner to cover up some of that texture I don't like. It's still some show in there. And then I might find a word sentiment up here. And of course I'll do the washi on that. So that's that. For the purple ones, I found either this washi or this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. It has more purple in it than this has more blue. So for these, that's probably what I'm going to do. And um, so the paint pen on all those, these already have the washi on these four on the one side. I don't think I have enough to put it on the other sides or one other edge. I might do it on some and try and finish this, but you see what's happening. It's, it's tearing. Um, and I think it's tearing up here. So I really should use washi that's gifted to me right when I get it. So this probably wouldn't happen then. So that's where I'm headed, headed and I'm hoping that the next time I come back, it'll be with finished projects. So I will see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm back. I thought I'd show you where I'm at and we'll finish these off together. So I have these three, which were the yellow green backgrounds, which you can hardly see under. You can see bits of it poking out with the gold uh, marker around the edge too. I did put these larger flowers on and I did have washi and you can see it's not covered on. I didn't put like an extra black or green or something on the back yet. And I'll probably do that after the collab. 
I have one more in that colorway to finish and I thought we'd finish it together. So I brought in some words for some that I just thought needed something. They're out of this pack from uh, Firefly Ephemera Collage Kit and um, it's cardstock. But, and then I brought these scraps I had left over. I think I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay, like a light Bermuda Bay. These are retiring. Bermuda Bay color is retiring from Stampin' Up, but I don't care. I'm using it anyway. I'm gonna go around both this and, sorry, um, which is just a punch out word. And also I'm going to go around this green piece, but I'm using the Bermuda Bay. And remember, this is on watercolor paper. So it has that white edging. This is an alcohol marker that I'm using. I usually use the Stampin' Right dye-based ink, but um, I thought this would soak in faster and also dry faster. I'm gonna leave that out because I think I'm gonna use that on another one. Let me glue that down. And I need, oops, I um, also put stickles on some of these and I'll go through that when I share them all with you because I just felt like we needed some sparkle. We needed some sparkle. Okay, let me get that centered. That's about right. And that and this are gonna go on this one that, um, Okay, this one it has this washi too, but it has the mint stickles around the edges. I'm not sure I had ever used that. It doesn't look used. But these flowers are sort of a mint color, so I thought that went with it. And I already had glued down one light and two darker mints, so now I have a lighter mint. And I'm not going to bump this up. I'm just going to glue it down. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. You can use whatever you're your favorite glue is. And we're just going to put that right across the center like that. So that is that one. And that's the fourth one of the yellow and green. And this is the last one. And I didn't really have anything else to put on here. So I'm going to use this little hello, but we're going to do the same thing. Actually, let me cut this piece of the background paper down a little bit, hopefully straight. There we go. All right, and let's do the same thing. I also use the mint um, stickles on that one because I just felt like it needed a little something. Oh, and I'll show you one more thing I used the mint stickles on. One second. So this, I thought, would help bring out that background sort of Bermuda Bay, Costa Cabana kind of color. Um, I think Bermuda Bay is the cardstock I used on those, um, some of them. So let's glue that down. Now these aren't glued down together yet either, so we have to do those too. And this one is, okay. All right. Um, actually, this is a different set. This and this and this and uh, these two go together. And I think they're glued down here, uh, except for that word. So we need to do that one yet. All right, I'm getting a, getting a, I'm going aside from myself. I don't know what I'm doing. But I am loving how these turned out. This one I think I'm going to put straight across here. That way you can still see some of the fern coming up. Um, and then some of the background stuff. So that's that one. Now let's do... This one is already done. Um, it has the mint stickles. It has one of the gold dragonflies. And I did put some Wink Estella on the wings of these larger dragonflies, but I don't think you can see it because I can barely see it. All right, so let's put Wonder down. I'm going to go around the edges of this, but I'm not going to bump it up, I think, maybe. 
maybe I'll just have this little piece uh, which doesn't fit all the way on but no I don't like that let me see if I would like it on this I think this one I'm just going to glue down as it is but I'm going to go around the edges um, again of the white because I don't want it to stand I even thought about um, using a blending brush and going over it a few times but I don't think I need to do that okay let's just glue that down and then let's see where I don't want to cover that dragonfly up okay on this dragonfly not only do the wings have stickles but the body and around the edges and this dragonfly one of the ones I punched has uh, this purple it's called glitter uh, I don't it's glitter glue for sure I don't know the color on that all right let me get this down while it's still I'm just gonna put the wonder up here in the corner again so I had to wait for these to dry isn't that pretty and this just has washi going down the side some of them I was able to get washi going down the side and at the bottom this was that gifted washi this one it's going down this side and the bottom um, and this one um, uh, it's going down the left side and the bottom oh, that's part of that and that I actually stamped a little crooked and here I put I put little purple this is purple stickles this stuff is it this stuff yeah I have a pink one here but I didn't use that I just used these two this is cool mint this one I think came in a Halloween pack of purple um, orange and black or something years ago I don't know all right so then we have this one done and the purple and it says you are an inspiration I can't remember if I put Wingastel on that it doesn't look like it but that's that one um, okay so that's those four and now we're on to this one and these I did manage to go around the with the washi twice this large uh, wide washi and I think I think adding the washi really made these okay now the rest of these nothing's glued down and um, I did go over the stars with the um, Vegas gold Sunico metallic ink with um, I started with a paintbrush I don't remember which one and then I switched to a um, q-tip and then I just took the tip of the q-tip after I did all the stars there's three of them this one this one and this one and I just blotched some gold around to kind of tie in the gold on the edges we're going to go ahead and glue this down and with all of these I'm using um, art glitter glue and um, if you don't have that just use a very strong adhesive or maybe like tear and tape or red line tape something very strong because it is watercolor paper and you're putting it on top washi tape if you do it like I did and uh, what I usually do is turn it over to push it and you might even want to just put a heavy object on it for a little while it's up to you it should be fine not perfectly straight as I don't usually get things perfectly straight all right I'm going to trim this down oops you can go in the trash here a little bit too little we're going to go ahead and um, use the same marker we'll just keep it simple this one says believe and we're going to put three flowers here let me go around this and then somewhere we have to find room for believe and this dragonfly which is all stickled up I will tell you also I highly recommend doing the stickles after you have all your other bits glued down because it's really hard to try and hold on to these little dragonflies without wearing oh that's really cut crooked without wearing the um the glitter glue on your fingers and having to redo it so yeah oops okay that's straighter much more happy with that oh 
of these alcohol ink markers, uh, alcohol markers truly do give coverage faster than the dye based markers. I heard Stampin' Up! Stampin' Right markers, which are their dye based markers, are retiring temporarily anyway, but I don't know what that means. Like, whoops, uh, six months, a year, I don't know. Apparently they're going to be, oh no, reformulated somehow. Oh, I have a little um, thingy. Anyway, <laughs> and that, okay. Um, yeah, they're supposed to be reformulated. And I have no idea what that means. And I don't think the demonstrators know either yet. All right, so let me first put these flowers down. So we're going to do... They're going to go... Let me think a minute. I have Believe going like this. I think I'm going to have Believe down here. Flowers over there. Or actually, I should have Believe up here, the dragonfly going towards it, and then just a cluster of flowers here. That's what I think I'll do. Okay. We're covering up the bottom stamped moth thing, but you yeah, well. So anyway, the stars, I didn't really like how the stars were again, so I just put stickles all around them too. <laughs> All right, and we're going to put, yep, we're going to put um, sort of mint color, a lighter mint color. And these were all flowers I've had in my stash from Prima. Yes, both uh, the lavender ones or lilac ones were in a different, uh, a different package than the little green ones but they're both from oh no wait no the lilac ones are 49th and market and the green mint ones in three shades are from prima and so i have a lot of oops okay mr dragonfly is still a tiny bit wet in the stickles area here i think i had tested the stickles but I didn't test the middle body like eh. all right so that's gonna be that one and then let's do this one let's see the celebrate Ugh. I didn't put the lid on that well, let me go around celebrate I don't like when you have those punch out see how you get these little knobbies I really don't like that so I just trim them off with my scissors and we're going to go around that too with the Bermuda Bay which is roughly that color I think that was Bermuda Bay or Costa Cabana which Costa Cabana is like the light Bermuda Bay anyway I'm really sad that they're getting rid of uh, they've gotten rid of Bermuda Bay now I think this is another one I, I think I'm just going to I think this one well let's glue this down first see again the splotches with the gold and then I went around the, the star and the um, center of the dragonfly with the stickles so just have a play doesn't really matter which side I guess but I just really love how the washi tape is all right I'm gonna turn that upside down push on it forgive my messy mat you know it is a messy mat <laughs> you could bump this up but I'm not going to and I'm only going to put hmm I think I'll put the flower there and the word I'll put the flower here and the word up there. Celebrate. So 
So do you all have plans for Easter? Do you celebrate Easter? Um, we're really not doing anything for Easter. I might make some ham and asparagus, but it'll just be a slice, not a whole ham. I think I can get a free one still at my supermarket, but um, I, I don't know. I should get it and donate it. It's too much. And we, I got a freezer now. Woohoo! But it's not a huge freezer. It is an extra freezer from my refrigerator freezer, which is pretty large too. But um, let me see. This is the front, I believe. Yep. But so I could put a ham in there, but I don't like ham after it's frozen. It gets kind of watery. I mean, the wateriness of it comes out. No, it's just me. And I shouldn't really have it. All right, now this one we have a gold butterfly and we have this happy, which I thought would go all right because it has the um, sort of a purpley red color. Let's go around that too with the blue. The Bermuda Bay, I'm making it easy and going around all of them with the same color. Anyway, um, for Christmas last year, I got my daughter a membership um, to a place around here called Longwood Gardens, which if you watched my Blue Poppies uh, video, I took inspiration from an email from them showing Blue Poppies. So anyway, um, her membership allows unlimited access for up to five people as long as one of the people is on the membership which is her and her husband and um so friday my son has off work for good friday and we are going to longwood gardens amy uh her youngest daughter me I'm going to put the flower down here and have this crossing over that other butterfly. It's dimensional. They're flying all through the air. Um, we're, we're going anyway to uh, Amy, Christopher, my son, um, me, and Haley is my granddaughter's name. My one granddaughter's name. The other one's at college and she doesn't get off for Easter, but she's out at the end of uh, the semester is coming up at the end of April. But I have to send something to her very soon, like in the next day or two, and overnight it, <laughs> or it won't get there for Easter. So there we have everything finished. Let me bring them down and maybe take this ugly mat away. I did clean up the bottom part of it, but the top part didn't get cleaned up yet. So there's the paint pen I used, Sharpie. You could use any metallic paint marker or something that you have. These, I didn't use this one. I used these two and the the um, the washi that had been gifted, which is pretty well done. There's a little bit on there like yet, but not much. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to take all the stuff off the mat so that I can lay these out nicely on my Altenu craft mat my white craft mat and I will off camera go ahead and put um, extra backings on sorry let's move these up just a tad so what do you think do you have a favorite do you like how they turned out I'm happy with them for the most part I'm, I'm not happy that these flowers hide everything, but you can still see glimpses of what's under there and some of the green. Oh, I did use the mint stickles on that center little flower, which was from Prima. There's the pack they are called. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to see. I thought they had a color on here, but I... I don't know what it is. Prima flowers. I can't read that little print. Um, item five eight eight five one nine. I thought they had color number or names on here, but I don't see it. And then the little purple ones were from Forty Ninth and Market. Pixie petals. 
handmade flowers and that one is colored twilight maybe that's what I was thinking so anyway I did use the mint and I have to put back on me so these were handmade and gifted to me in a swap years ago like I don't know 2017 or 18 right all three of those and the rest of them used the flowers out of there the punched out and colored and stickled little dragonflies the gold dragonflies were from um, dragonfly dreams and coordinating dyes by stampin up years ago these uh, these little sentiment things here were from firefly collage kit the you are an inspiration was from dragonfly garden by stampin up which is retiring may 1st um and it has the co coordinating the punch is not retiring this dragonfly's punch uh, so maybe they have a new set coming out that'll work with it too but when they do that i always keep the old set too and then you have options right and then we use some um graphic 45 stamps in the beginning with stays on right stays on azure and forest green for the greeneries and the azure blue for these dragonflies and the moss a couple moss i put on um and washi tape that i don't i don't know where these came from and i can't remember who gifted me that other one so i apologize about that and now i don't even know where, where i put it <laughs> oh here right here and i never ended up using the leaves i had punched out they just were too eh. and these already had some leaves um so i'll use them for something else hope you enjoyed that process video i'm sorry if it's too long i know it's too long because this is 23 minutes and this is just the last part so i will probably speed some up and just put it to music and if so i'll state that in the beginning and uh, and thank you for watching and this is the process video for my 21st tuesday and all the information about that and the host will be in the title line and in the description box below this video and also that video that video will go up first which will just have this on it thank you so much for watching please like share comment subscribe i would truly appreciate it and have a wonderful easter if you celebrate that and if not just happy spring and Happy April. Bye for now. Hugs, love, and peace.